So the Info Education Alliance program is um, a program that we developed about two years ago. So essentially what we try to do is we partner with colleges, universities on a global level, um, and we're building a talent pipeline. So usually what we might mean by that is we're partnering with professors, with academic advisors, and we're augmenting what they do in the classroom. If you are a business instructor and you want children to understand or students to understand um, how a business would actually use technology to create a product, Product, we can provide them that product mm -hmm. and that way they can augment their resumes and hopefully get great jobs at companies like Infor. People usually think of us as the philanthropic arm of Infor. So, you know, working in addition in the classroom, working with students uh, just on class projects and things of that nature. So, uh, if we don't touch them in the classroom, we're hopefully touching the students in some capacity at our member institutions in some way. One of the things that's cool is that we don't target just the top tier, what's deemed the top tier schools. We do have a very broad targeting yep. message. And so, we have the City Universities in New York. Um, we, we have a lot of first generation students who actually. Yeah. go to those schools and they're able to get jobs at companies like Infor that they might not have before. So yeah. that's and I know, very cool. Yeah, I think we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. If you look at the numbers of diversity across the board at different technology companies, it's mm -hmm. very low. Yeah. It's still very low, but I think the Education Alliance program, the fact that we don't go directly after big name schools, we're looking to work with HBCUs, we're looking mm -hmm. to work with, uh, we closed Hampton University, yeah. that's a historical black college, yeah. and we're trying to even the playing field so yeah. everyone has an equal opportunity. At the end of the day, it's about talent, and I think we are really privileged to work at a company that's allowing us to build a program that enables that and supports it in such a strong way. I think. There is still a long way to go. I mean, that's just real <laughs> at the end of the day. And it's good that we have resources like that because traditionally there are not a lot of women in technology companies to begin with, but in pure technology jobs as well. So as engineers, as developers and things of that nature. So programs like WIN are really critical. The LEAP Associates program is an 18-month talent program um, for students who are looking for full-time employment opportunities. It's pretty 50-50. Like from what I've seen so far, there is we have about 10 associates right now. We have, I think, about six males and five females. For the scholars, I mean, we've had 122 uh, internship slots that have been filled over this year. And really, it's, it's a fair split, I would say maybe a 60-40 male to female, but still extremely high ratio. Um, and not only that, but super high diversity as well. Yeah. You know, we have international students, we have African American, Latino, uh, we have Asian, we have white, mm -hmm. uh, we have everything. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful program, and especially this summer we had 22 scholars here in the office beautiful photo came out of that and it was just a yeah. rainbow of young individuals. I think a lot of what needs to happen is removing the stereotypes yeah. that already yeah. exist. If we have educators who take, you know, female astronauts and, and mathematicians and scientists and show these young girls, you know, they, they're already doing it. You know, women are doing this. They're in the field. I think having a role model or a mentor or somebody to look up to to say, wow, that's my Shiro. You know, that's somebody I want to look up to. That's somebody I want to be like.